For all the optimism they exuded ahead of the meeting, the feuding parties emerged with nothing to show for it. Opposition parties say the last straw was the ANC's attempts to shield the president from accounting to parliament. It then became quite crystal clear that the ruling party or the African National Congress had affirmed and confirmed to us that the deal is off and they didn't want to be part of the deal. It's also clear about the fact that we then have not gotten further about getting a date for when the president will be coming to parliament to come and account. They have abandoned a political process and they are now looking for a shortcut. If they think the shortcut will give them a long-lasting solution in parliament, then let's see if shortcut will work. But the ANC lays the blame squarely with opposition parties. The deal is off that we had struck. It was largely breached by the DA's uh, motion of censure against the president, which departed from the spirit uh, around which the deal was struck. Even now, they're threatening to soil and spoil Sona. What do you expect? Do you expect the president to go down on his knees and beg them not to do that? I don't think the president is a president for that. He's the greatest thief honorable, in the world. Honorable member. Meaning the disruptions, howling and heckling that have come to characterize parliament are unlikely to abate. Tulasis was Johannesburg. He is the criminal.